You found there. But put the batteries back. You have to look for the carrito. Hello, hello. All right. So today I'm going to be painting this beauty. Um, I found it on the curb. Well, my best friend found it and he took a picture, sent it to me, and I said, I have to go get it. It was in perfect conditions besides these little knickknacks, um, which you're going to see me fill with wood filler here pretty soon. And yeah, I, I love it. I'm so happy I found it. So I start by cleaning it. Um, but before I get into that, can we just talk about how my body, which I absolutely love, but with this outfit, tell me that you agree that I look like the penguin from Batman back in the old days. <laughs> so anyways, I clean it really good. I use a kitchen cleaner by Amway. I love it. Once I clean it, I rinse it with water and then I clean it again just so I don't have that residue and my paint can stick in really well to to the piece. So like I said, I'm putting in some wood filler. I'm using the Minwax just because it's just minor stuff, honestly. Um, if it were anybody, any, any other greater, bigger stuff, then I would use uh, something like a Bondo or something like that. Um, I don't like using the scraper sometimes, so I use my finger. Um, you can put on gloves or you can, you know, just use the scraper for your own protection and whatnot. So yeah. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sand down the piece. I'm just going to do a very quick scuff sand. I'm using my surf prep and I'm using a very fine grit. It's a squishy kind, so it's um, it goes along with the ridges and everything, so it doesn't mess up the curbs or anything like that. I'm trying to remove the previous um, pad I had on there. It was very, it was just stuck on there. So this is very easy to use. Um, I'm really enjoying using the surf prep, and it's very convenient. The fact that they're um, sanding things are like sponges and it's just very convenient for for pieces such as this and then I clean it and then I'm all set so I'm gonna start off with kissing booth by DIY paint by W's design diary I've had this can for maybe over a year so I like to use these spatulas these rubber spatulas um, to stir um, just because I get to wash them <laughs> easier rather than a wood stick. I'm gonna give this a good stir because I've had this for a long time. I've never used it. I really want to take it out of the can, but I'm just gonna go for it. So yeah, I like using these. So I did take some out of the can just because I'm using this brush. Um, by Daydream Apothecary and this one is Helen and it's as you can see very thick so anyway I pour my paint in here So here I'm using Kissing Booth uh, by Debbie's Design Diary DIY Paint. Um, it's a very rich pink and it almost looks like a plum afterwards, but um, I think next to like some blues, um, I think it really stands out as pink. Um, 
it still stood out a little bit here with the green uh, that you're gonna see soon but not as much as I was expecting but I love it either way Now I'm going in with Monet's Garden by Debbie's Design Diary once again. It's a very rich green. I have never used this green before. It's my first time. I really liked it. Um, once again, I'm using a brush by Apothecary. I think the name was Maya. It's a very like fluffy, fluffed out um, uh, brush. And I really like them. I really like them. But it does get some use to, um, it does take some time to get used to them um and see how they work with different paints i think every brush line goes like differently with paints and so definitely just try them out and see what you like most so as you can see i'm doing the inside screen and then i'm gonna blend it out a little bit Now I'm gonna go in with Queen Bee. This is like a yellow mustard kind of, not really. And I'm using Paint Pixie um, brush. Um, now you're gonna, <laughs> once you see on further, you're gonna be like, why did she even do this? Um, this was a waste of paint. Trust me, I feel the same way. Um, but when I do, when I'm finished and I sand everything down, uh, the yellow does come through. Not a lot because I loaded this thing up with gold. But if you're really looking at it or I don't know, you just see like little parts of it. Um, but I think this part was totally unnecessary, but I left it in just so you can have an idea of the things that you can do um, and just what I did. But yeah, I, I think <laughs> I think the yellow was unnecessary, but here we are. It's, it's art. It's art. That's what I tell myself. Okay, so I let this dry overnight and I'm going in with the second coat. I'm just repeating the same process, but here you're going to see that I am covering up all that queen bee, all that yellow. I'm just covering it up. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I just, I, I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but as I started painting, it's just, you know, the paintbrush just said something else and the paint said something else. So here we are covering up Queen Bee. <laughs> Okay, here's where I start blending that um, Queen Bee, a uh, Queen Bee, oh my god, Kissing Booth and Monet's Garden. So I added more uh, Kissing Booth and more Monet's Garden, and then with that um, brush, um, I'll link it below. I start blending the two. Let's see. Okay, so here you can see where I add more Kissing Booth and and Monet's garden and then that's when I start getting that purple effect between the two colors that's just me blending um, I'm not the greatest at blending um, but I tried it I tried it and I created a new color so yeah <laughs> and as you can tell I'm not very using I'm not using a lot of uh, paint in this process in this part just because I am blending and I don't want to just make a big blob. I just want to get more color in there so that it can smooth out better. All right, I'm going in with mint chip. Another one of those things where I'm just like, why did I even bother? Um, I put it on here on on the palette and I'm just gonna dry brush uh, with this. Um, now you can see mint chip on the final look, but once again, it's so subtle. It's like, why? Why did you do that, Francesca? Why? But like I said, I had a vision and the paintbrush, had its own vision so <laughs> all right now I'm just gonna sand everything down I did let this dry overnight I find that when you do that the paint sticks better it dries up completely and then you could just scuff sand and then you're done with it I do have a vacuum but I'm still because I'm inside I put on my mask as everybody should and I'm just scuff sanding everything just making sure everything is smoothed out and ready for wax. See, you can still see the mint chip and right there, very slightly, you can see the queen bee, but not even. So anyway, and anyway, it's just going to get covered up with gold. So waste of paint, man, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all love. Um, so this is how it turned out before I go ahead and wax. I am using the clear wax by Debbie's Design Diary, and I am using a brush that is not for waxing but I really like it. I think it's so smooth, it's so fluffy, and it just, it moves better. Um, I have used other wax brushes specifically for wax. I just find that they're too dense. 
maybe that's how it's supposed to be and I just don't like it I don't know but I'm I really like this um I really like this wax it's so buttery it's so soft it's just ugh. look at that look at that it's like butter I love it so I go in every direction I buff I do whatever I'm not an expert I just get the wax on there and then I wipe it off I wipe off the excess and then yeah that's it here's the finished piece um i was not able to record what i did with the gold but i'm gonna show you anyway with golden rule and the cheapy brush so all i did this is what it looks like all i did was barely get in there right just like got some right here and then i would scrape off the excess right here so then what i would do um, let's see, I would just lightly like go right here, all around this area, all right here. Here I did like this motion so that it would come down a little bit. Okay, and then here I would do the same thing, um, get a little bit, wipe it off, and then I would start here, concentrate right on these two corners, and then the same motion, just right here just like this and this is what I did to the whole piece um, let's see right here all I did was grab a little bit and just like with the very tip of it just lightly went like this and if sometimes there was some excess all you when it's fresh just wipe it off with your finger and you're good to go basically just you know concentrate on the areas that you want most of it and then on the edges just but this part I did with whatever was left on my brush, on my bristles. So I'll just go like this. And that's pretty much it. Um, same for this area. I, I went all the way. This is horrible. I went all the way in the inside. I also, of course, did here, but just very lightly. And that's what I did for the whole piece, pretty much. Then... I went in with the Redesign by Prima Gilding Wax. This is called Eternal. It's, um, I love this gold. For this one, I would just, dab my finger, pretty much is what I did. If I felt I had too much, I would just scrape it off. And then I would just lightly, just go like this and just smear it out all the way. I did some here, here, now. For the drawers, I'm gonna show you. For the drawers and these areas like this, um, the drawers that have these areas, I would get some some of this wax, get it on my finger real good, and then just go right in the middle, right here. That's all I would do. I wouldn't go inside because obviously my finger can't do that, and um, I lack brushes right now. So I would just smear this right here, all over the piece. And all over the drawers and that's how I achieved this golden look thank you for watching this video I had a lot of fun creating this look I did not um, expect for it to turn out the way it did I had something in vision but I just didn't know where it was going quite honestly at some point I felt like it just looked like Barney the dinosaur and the pink was just like purple and then the green but I really really like how it turned out um, I think it's super pretty. It's um, giving me magic carpet ride vibes. Um, all the glam vibes. I I don't know. I just, I really like it. <laughs> My daughter wants to keep it, but um, we, we shall see. It's, it's still there. Thank you so much for watching. I have to go and blow a balloon right now for my kid um, before he goes nuts. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, consider subscribing. Like this video if you did enjoy it. Maybe somebody else could get a kick out of watching this. Um, and yeah, yeah and create something themselves or yourself. Uh, comment below, like, I don't know, maybe like what yeah. colors would you have used maybe with the pink or the green if you think I went overboard with the gold, which I probably did, but I don't care. Um, and i don't know like maybe what colors would you have used to maybe create this look or just to give it a whole different vibe i'm curious to know thanks for watching see you next time Bye.
<laughs> Bye! <laughs>